Hello, welcome to the folio from a Quran discussion. My name is Mrs. Morin, and let's go ahead and start off with the title. The title of this is Folio from a Quran. The artist would have been Quranic scribes. Let me go ahead and show you how that is spelled. The historical period is West Central Asia. And then the materials and techniques. So in some cases, uh, there was a dark brown ink used and a gold ink. And then also there was vellum, which this is how you spell vellum right here. Vellum is actually animal skin. It was specifically a baby calf um, that they would stretch out the skin very thin and it was somewhat see-through as a result. So the um, type of calligraphy we're looking at here was actually Kufic script. And the intended purpose of this document. So in order to understand the purpose, we have to know what Quran actually means. So Quran, the word itself means recitation, which it means that basically the Quran was meant to be orally retold. It's not necessarily something that specifically is meant to be read from a book. It's meant to be told um, orally. So when we look at what it was for, something we have to keep in mind was how it was made. So the scribes spent a lot of time worrying about the proportions and the way that it looked visually. And because of this, everything looks very neatly organized. But if you know Arabic, it's probably very difficult for you to read this because the spaces between the words sometimes are smaller than the spaces between the letters. So sometimes it's very tricky to understand what some it's trying to say because you can't tell which few strings of letters um, make up a word. And that's because this wasn't really meant to be read. It was meant to be appreciated and then also to be used as a mnemonic device. So when we look at the ornate um, decorations on here, you might notice that there aren't any images of people like the manuscripts we've seen in the past. There are no images of people because iconography iconography is very inappropriate in um, the Islamic religion to put in religious texts. So what we see instead are these really beautifully decorated ornate geometric forms that also will have things like little vines drawn in them and palmettes. So when this piece was created, they had an idea to make everything proportional. They wanted it to, they were very strict with how everything was organized. And because the vellum was somewhat see-through, they could actually make everything nice and straight by laying it on top of a, a board that had lines drawn or carved into it. So they could actually see the lines through the vellum, which would make their script very nice and straight without drawing on top of the paper. Uh, now, the last thing is our patron and intended audience. So obviously the intended audience would have been somebody who was reciting the Quran and they would use it as a, um, a mnemonic device. And then for patron, they're not entirely sure um, who made it, but they know that, um, or who had it made, but they know that this person, Abdul al Moon Im Un Ahmad, he donated the Quran to the great mosque of Damascus. So um, it's possible that he was the patron, but they don't know for sure if he was just somebody who received it and then donated it later. So there you have it, folio from a Quran. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed.